This is a nation under God. We are destroying the moral fabric of this nation. The Bible is the inerrant word of God. This country is doing everything it can to make everyone believe it's okay to be gay. And quite frankly, it's not. That's why God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. And that's what's going to happen to this country. God hates this country. America needs a tidal wave of the old time religion. And I want this audience to join me in a pledge that you will never rest until this old God-hating, Christ-hating, Sabbath-breaking, infidel old world is bound to the cross of Jesus Christ by the golden chains of love. If homosexuals are allowed their civil rights, then so would prostitutes or thieves or anyone else. Marriage cannot be severed from its cultural, religious, and natural roots. The rancorous debate is part politics, part religion, part science. Is homosexuality a sin? Is it a choice? It is sin because the Bible says so. I've never seen a man in my life I wanted to marry. <laughs> if one ever looks at me like that, I'm gonna kill him and tell God he died. God says in the Old and the New Testament that it's an abomination. God calls it an abomination. It's an abomination. It's an abomination. They've heard it so much, like Goebbels said, working for Hitler, you tell a lie enough times, the whole world will believe it. The Bible clearly states that homosexuality is wrong. Read it through there, find it in there, it's in there. I'm sure it's in there more than one time, it's probably in there 20 times, but it's in there. There's nothing wrong with a fifth grade understanding of God, as long as you're in the fifth grade. Leviticus 18! You have to think when you read the Bible. It's a sin for a man to be with a man! Which is why before the Reformation, perhaps the Roman Catholics were right in saying ordinary people shouldn't be reading the Bible because usually they get it wrong. And I'm convinced that usually we do. We have been conditioned to hold these beliefs by the church. And it really has been the church. It is the place where the prejudice was born and was nurtured and has been promoted. For a long time, the Bible has been misused to support prejudice apartheid, segregation, slavery, the second-class citizenship of women. Now it's being used, misused, to condemn gay people. It's an old trick. Fundamentalist Christians have been using it throughout the ages, and now they're doing it again.